hello everyone welcome to the practical section of drop shadow effects so in this tutorial you will learn how to create a realistic shadow in photoshop using a combination of the drop shadow layer styles transform tools and some other settings so here we're gonna make the drop shadow of this particular chair this will be look like this in after editing so let's get started so the very first thing you need to change is the color so we can change the background and foreground colors then the set the foreground color that's similar to the shadow color so here i choose pretty black color we can uh, change the opacity values to make it more uh, suitable so go to the layers panel then on the top that's in the add layer style then right click there then select drop shadow okay it automatically selects the drop shadow effect but you have to make some changes in the settings then in the foreground color it's selected this pretty black color then the opacity that goes 75 then the angle goes 90 then the distance value goes just we can make it 13 and point three now 13 then the spread that we can do at 25 then the size goes 5 that's our size so then the contour is linear then the rest of the settings are the same then the noise is zero the layer knocks out drop shadow is selected so click ok then the next thing we want to make or create a layer from your drop shadow so what we want to do is select this layer then go to layer this in top layer then select the layer styles where is that layer style then select create layer then click ok so it will make a drop shadow layer so let's check it out so this is the drop shadow layer this one then what you want to do next is we want to distort this shadow layer so either we can disable now we don't need to disable any layer then we can select this drop shadow layer then press and hold ctrl t so we can, then we can right click on the middle of this selection then select distort or you can just uh, manually go to Im image sorry you can go to edit then transform then distort or you can do this way it's pretty easy then drag the shadow like this so the next thing we want to do is set the fill mode to 100 percent the fill should be 100 percent okay the next step is create an alpha channel so the shadow is starting to look realistic but remember that in real life shadows become blurrer and lighter the further they reset from the object using an alpha channel is an easy way to control the areas of the shadow that need to blur and lighten so to create a channel go to channels or window or channels it's already here click on the palette menu to select a new layer new channel that's a new channel here names alpha one then do that then select the selected areas then the opacity 50 then the red color selected it is a default setting so click ok so we created a new alpha channel so the next thing we want to create a gradient with your new alpha channel in your channels palette select your new alpha one that's this one alpha one make sure the visibility that's uh, all toggled on that's the uh, eye icon is toggled on yeah. then select the gradient tool from the toolbar then then the bottom of the tools palette make sure the foreground color is set to black and the background is set to white options palette here also we follow the black and white color gradient then click ok then make sure to select the alpha channel then drag from make sure to drag, drag from bottom of the shadow to top of the shadow just like this you can cross like this cross fade like this so there will be a color grade will create so the selection will be visible as a red gradient overlaying your image then the next step goes blur this one 
You can toggle the eye icon next to alpha one to make the red gradient invisible so it is not distracting if it's not distracting so click on the top channel in your channel palette either rgb or any other then deselect the alpha one channel select these rgb layers then go to layer layers palette here go to layers palette and make sure the drop shadow is selected then go to filter then blur then lens blur there, there's a window will open here then we can see the shadow also here the first one the source is selected as alpha one there is no difference then blur focal distance goes zero plus zero so there is no difference in the blur focal distance it's said to be zero then the slide radius it's have to select uh, 55 okay, 55 make it 55 then click ok rest of the settings are saved or the chair will be more blur so the next thing we want to do is create a layer mask so go to select then load selection choose the document channel as alpha one then make sure to select the new selection is checked then click ok so we created a selection so you will now see a selection in approximate in the darkest areas of the gradient you created in your alpha channel so then go to the layers panel then click the add layer mask so look at that it's uh, really actually it's blurred because light is coming from the front of the chair so the back the back side is more darker than the front is more uh, bright so that this really looks well or looks great right now then control light source and clean up the shadows the next thing so this is the making of a drop shadow effect of a chair in adobe photoshop or you can manipulate with a lot of tools and selections or a lot of uh, ways but this is the easy and simple or the basic way of making a drop shadow effect so thank you see you in the next section